You're going to be part of the biggest campus in the UK. That's absolutely awesome. Great. The social life around here is quite active, yeah. You have to be independent on your own. Before I came, I don't really know what to expect, but as soon as I came here, I really like life in here. I guess living alone was sort of one of those things that you didn't really think about until you started doing it. I was actually quite worried at first because, you know, going to a new place, you don't know anything and you don't know much people. Doing my own cooking, washing, ruining my clothes and buying new sets. After a few weeks, I find it all right. It's actually quite good to live on my own. You learn, you pick it up, and eventually you find yourself so independent, you don't want assistance. You quickly make such good friends, and there are so many people around who you could talk to. Freshers' Week was the best experience of my life. Freshers' Week was madness. It was absolute madness. We just went out every night, made loads of friends. Everywhere we went, incredible. I've made like friends from like all over the world. It's probably the best place to make new friends I've ever been. Phoning the family is very important. With family, you never truly lose touch. I can still talk to my friends through the internet and things like that. The university take every effort to ensure people who are new to the city know exactly where a building is. It's pretty easy to find your way around. It's quite logically laid out. And the orientation program is absolutely brilliant. It's absolutely great to be so close to the city centre. Like right now we're standing in the city centre and you can actually see the university buildings nearby. If you got like one or two hours break, you can go to the city centre. It's literally five minutes and you'll be inside town, you'll be inside the centre of Manchester. Public transport is quite busy. Works out much cheaper than anywhere else I've been as well. It's like a really, really well-connected network. There's a free bus service I know from the Oxford Road Students' Union. So you never have a problem getting into town or getting into university. Accommodation wasn't hard to find and it's also cheap. My experience holds really good. It's much better than I thought, honestly. The warmth and the fun we've had and the friends I've made there. The only issue was, you know, cleaning the kitchen. Everyone has issues with that. You'll probably make more friends than you've ever made in your life. We get a pool table. That's absolutely awesome to make friends. Time management is definitely the key. Any student will tell you that. I think it's relatively easy to do, to balance work and play, but you've just got to be pretty set out at the start of the year. Well, we have a lot of work here, that's for sure. I find it quite hard for like the first couple of months, but then afterwards I'm used to it, so I'm, I'm coping around with it. The hardest part of coping with the workload was not any significant increase in time or effort, but it was uh, self-discipline. But don't rush any, everything to like last minute because you won't finish it. It's so horrible. <laughs> the labs at Man Uni are so fantastic. There's like Machines work millions in there which you can get hands-on experience. You feel good when you do that stuff. As you move on through the years, you do more and more practical work, but theory is still a key. Manchester University does have a slightly higher requirement. All you need to do is get your head down and concentrate on the few subjects they ask for and you should be fine. The staff are pretty accessible. Uh, if you have any academic problems in particular, they're usually very quick to respond. Most of them operate an open door policy. You can email them, you can go to their office, even ask them questions after lectures. If there's students around you and they'll be so friendly you can ask them for help. If you feel like someone's going to be there to, you know, hold your hand and get you up. And I do feel homesick sometimes, but not very often. There's so much you can do here and there's so much you learn, there's so much you go through that you come up with a new perspective of being like, oh my god, this is home. People make effort when they know you're, you know, you're foreign. Coming in here is like everything's in English, so I was quite worried about it. But then Afterwards, I got used to it, so it's alright now. You have uh, support provided by the university to, to help you improve your level of English. You've got people from every phase of life, every city, every country and every religion in Manchester. In my spare time, this sort of stuff's what I like to do. I do sports and I go shopping. Watch a movie or have a drink, go to disco. There is a massive range of sports you can do here. I play badminton, I go to the gym. There's just so much to do, you just, you just spoil for choice really. There's societies, there's clubs. The bars and clubs in here are really nice. It was a bit of a shock to see so many nightclubs available and so cheaply as well. I didn't even know that there were parties like these happening in some corner of the world called Manchester. British people drink a lot of beers and things like that but they, they would not force you to drink with them. I don't drink and I've been to every party you can think of. I've ne left no club, no society, no party. If you're really tired, if you want like your own time, you can stay at home and relax. But if you want to go out, there's always people and friends going out. Initially, there is this transition period to go through, but then guys, it's all part of the university learning experience. It can't get better than this.